Good morning, all you beautiful people of the YouTube land. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great morning. It's Friday morning, early morning, and um, the sun cannot be seen here today. It is gloomy and rainy, but you know what? It's going to be a great day. Just having my morning coffee here, and there's been this, this thought that I've been having. It's It's something that I've actually think about quite a bit. Um, I've been thinking about it over the course of time. I sometimes sit down and just kind of acknowledge this, this thought. And it was a thought that came to me on a concept of my reality. As I started working on myself back in 2017 and if you've been on a journey of self-improvement, personal development, using tools like EFT, meditation, visualization, breath work, there's a significant amount of self-awareness de that develops kind of from the inside out. And I remember when I started having these shifts, I started to become more grounded, more present, more aware, just more aware of my reality, of of everything around me. And one of the things that came to me at one point in time that really stood out, and, and to this day, it, I think about it quite often because I see people who, who are so ingrained in different narratives that are being projected onto them. And it, it, it could be the, the news, the media, social media, the, their colleagues, their friends, family, just they, they, they kind of get sucked into everything, right? Something bad's happening and it's being presented on the news and they're completely invested in it, right? Like their, their emotions, how they're being triggered, how they're feeling about it. And, every, and it's like they forget about every, everything else and, and all other potentials. And so it could be a hard concept to wrap your mind around if, if you haven't quite developed that, that awareness yet. And the way, I want, the way I like to look at it is like this. If I had a whiteboard with me right now, it'd probably be a little bit easier to, to demonstrate. But for now, I just want to put this video together. I want it to be short and sweet and maybe get you thinking a little bit about the nature of your reality and the information that's available to you. So we know that the subconscious mind, your subconscious mind is picking up everything, all bits of information that are available to you. So essentially millions of bits of information per second are being processed by your subconscious mind. Now your conscious mind, your, your conscious awareness is only picking up a very small fraction of all that information at any point in time. So if you think about that, I'm sitting here right now and it's very quiet. It's morning. I could hear this clock above me ticking. I could hear the rain hitting the window. I just heard the furnace kick off, right? There's little things I'm, I'm aware of that I notice that my conscious mind's allowing my, my awareness to pick up on. But subconsciously, there could be lots happening, and there is lots happening that I'm totally unaware of, that I'm not noticing, that I won't notice, and my mind won't let it come through on my conscious awareness. And that could be, that, that may not be so hard to understand that, right? And maybe it is a little bit confusing because you're like, well, what do you mean? So I like to expand, I like to expand this out and think about this on a global scale. And when I say global scale, I mean, kind of like the global possibilities of all the information that you, that's available to you, your subconscious mind. And to put some figures on this, you know, about 95% of everything that's happening around you, information, energy, what have you, 
your subconscious mind is picking up on that you're not consciously aware of. So you're only, what, 5% that you might be aware of at any point in time. Now, what determines what, what's important to you? Like, what determines what you consciously are going to be aware of? Well, that's kind of being filtered through your beliefs, your, um, your habits, your, your habitual thought patterns. Your, your reticular activating system is essentially like a, a filter that determines what's important enough to let it through for you consciously be aware of. And so if you think about it, what's a belief? Well, at its simplest form, a belief is really just a thought that you've thought so, so much that it's become this wired thought pattern that, that just exists. And, and, and a lot of us are comprised of lots of negative, negative thought patterns. We've, We've grown up in childhood with lots of negative thought patterns, and we go into our adult lives with these, these negative thought patterns that form the belief systems upon which we see the world. So of all the information coming in, your, your brain, your reticular activating system, your belief system is filtering what it determines to be most important to you, right? So somebody who's, and we all know someone like this, somebody who's very negative, they're always seeing the negative in life. It seems like every time you talk to them, everything's doom and gloom, bad, whatever, right? We all know someone like that. They just talk negative, they see negative, they'll, they watch the negative news, right? Their, their life is just negativity. And then there's people we know who are, they seem to always be happy, joyful, they see the the silver lining and things, they see the positive and everything and everyone, right? And it, it seems like no matter what's going on around them, they're just, they're just happy people. And then, you know, there's people in between, right? There's people do a little bit of both and it could, it could be on a sliding scale. <laughs> but you could take that negative person who's inherently negative, negative belief systems, negative thought patterns, and you could put them in the exact same situation as that, that other person, the opposite, the one who sees the good and everything, the one's always happy and positive, they could experience the exact same situation, circumstance, have the exact same experience, and they perceive it two completely different ways, right? It could, it could be something as simple as like, um, I don't know, the negative person's walking along and finds $20 on the road. They, they could literally pick up that $20 and have a negative reaction to it, right? They, they, they could start to project all sorts of negative ideas about this $20 they found, right? They might pick it up and be like, oh my gosh, somebody lost this $20. They probably, oh my gosh, what should I do with it? I don't see anybody else around here, right? What if it was an old lady that needed it for groceries? You know, I don't deserve this. I don't even know what to do. Maybe I'll just put it back down on the road. I don't deserve this this money for free, right? And then you could or you could put that the other person in the exact same situation. And they find the $20 and they're like, "Oh my goodness. I found $20. This is amazing. The universe has granted me this great abundance. This is beautiful. I don't I don't see anyone else around here who who maybe lost this, but oh my gosh, this is a manifestation. This is a synchronicity. I needed this $20, right? Two completely different interpretations of the exact same circumstance. And it, it kind of reminds me of the saying, and I and I, th I don't know if it was Shakespeare who said this, and I don't know if I'm going to get the saying exactly right, but I think of this quite often. It's it, it, it's something along the lines of nothing is inherently good or bad, but thinking makes it so. I think that might have been Shakespeare. I don't know. But if you think about that statement, you kind of dwell on that statement for a little bit. It's, it's absolutely true, right? Anything that might be happening around us, it's our interpretation, our judgment of it, how we interpret and perceive it 
that determines whether it's good or bad to us. And just like I explained in that story of finding the $20, somebody could could look at that and perceive it as, as a bad negative thing and somebody else could perceive it as a good thing, right? Somebody, and somebody else could perceive it as something neutral, right? So it just, it's our thinking that makes it so. And our thinking is always going. And the way in which we perceive the world the way in which we interpret, interpret things is going to be based on our belief systems, our inherent intuitive belief systems, right? We may be very negative. We may interpret everything as bad. Things just don't work out for us. And then somebody else, things seem to always work out. There's it, Everything seems to have a silver lining. Even if something that you would think, would have to be interpreted as bad, they still find the silver lining. And maybe it's a lesson. Maybe they're grateful for something bad that happened to them because it's given them more clarity on what they really want in life, right? And they they focus on that instead of this bad thing that, that actually happened. All right, so what's the point, Michael? The video is now over 11 minutes. So what's, what's your point? I don't know. Like I just, sometimes I, I just wanna talk through this and I sit here and do this on my own just in my own mind but maybe sharing in this video get get you find folks out there thinking about stuff like this maybe it'll you know you'll 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 get an idea of certain things happening within you or how you interpret things and um, maybe it'll help expand you but one other thing I like I like to think of in this manner is A lot of times the information around us is being projected to us from a certain narrative, from a certain perspective. For example, I think everyone is well aware that if you watch any sort of news, it's inherently bad and negative. They show the bad things happening in the world, right? You could sit down and watch the news and just constantly be sucked into this negative thought pattern of what's going on. And, and what happens is if you, if you buy into that and you give your power away to that news that you're hearing from all the news stations, there's this war going on here and there's this happening and this happening. And like, it seems like there's just so much bad happening. And you start to believe that, you know, there's a lot of bad happening in the world and maybe there is. But if you take a step back and kind of look at what, what is happening all around the world right now at this moment, every piece of information that you could potentially absorb, which is impossible, there's no way you'll be able to know. But imagine if the news was able to project onto you everything that's happening in the entire world right now at this very moment. And just humor me a bit, right? It's hard to maybe wrap your mind around what I'm trying to get at. But if you have, let's say it's a pie chart, right? And this represents all of the trillions and trillions of bits of information happening right now around the world. There's only a sliver of it, just a sliver of this pie chart that you're aware of by watching the news because the news is determining what it wants to show you what it wants to report out on. And they're gonna pick the things that instill fear, uncertainty, doubt, right? Bad things. And, and the reason for that is because that's what sells. If people are feeling fearful and uncertain, uncertainty and doubt, they're gonna to wanna to watch the news more. They kind of get addicted to this, this negative feedback loop right? It's like the addiction to stress, the addiction to fear. If you're in a fearful state, you're not as creative. There's different parts of your brain that, that get shut down, like the creative side. You, you have more stress in your body because of the thoughts you're thinking about the bad things happening that you're, that you're interpreting as bad, that you're seeing as bad. That, that, and it becomes like this negative addiction to, to news, to stress, to bad things. And you kind of get sucked in then every day. And now you're watching the news, you're reading the news on your phone and you kind of get sucked into this, right? 
And so you're only aware of what you perceive as bad and or negative that's happening all around you. And you just perceive the world. It's like, man, there's a lot of bad out there happening right now. And, and now you want to watch it more and more because what's happening next? What's happening next? But if you could step away from that, like pull yourself away from the news, away from your mind, away from the entire world, and it's like you're looking down on the world. Think of it this way. You're only seeing through the news, the social media, the, what other people are talking about, a sliver, a sliver, like less than 1%, less, even less than that of what's happening all around the universe, around the world. You're seeing such a small sliver of it that you're hyper-focused on. But do you know how much beauty is happening right now? Do you know how much love is actually being expressed right now? Like how many people just fell in love in this moment? How many babies were just born? How many people just overcame cancer or some sort of health affliction right now? How many amazing, beautiful things are happening with groups of people around the world right now? There are, these things are happening, but you're not seeing them. You're, the news is not going to show that to you. And again, so that small sliver that you're hyper-focused on in your pie chart, that's not a true representation of everything that's happening all around this entire universe right now. There's tons of amazing beautiful things. There are people laughing their ass off right now. It's something that's incredibly funny and they're feeling good. There's people falling in love right now. There's people conceiving children right now. There's people who just won the lottery right now. There's people who are having awakenings right now and finding love and gratitude and grace. There's people in inspiring other people right at this moment and feeling like they're on top of the world and the world's amazing. There's people with such strong beliefs in, in God and in the spiritual world and things that we can't even see. I mean, there's a lot of amazing, beautiful things happening right now. It's you need to expand your awareness to understand that and to experience it. You don't have to turn on that TV or look at your phone, look at it, get rid of the news apps. Don't focus on what everyone's talking about on social media. Focus on what's real for you. Focus on what you, be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world. See more of that which you desire. Align with more of that which you desire. You create your own reality. People are living in their own reality. There are people right now who only see a very negative, traumatic, terrible reality. And there's other people who see a beautiful, amazing, loving reality. It's up to you. So build that awareness, that self-awareness. You could use tapping. Meditation is so powerful. Visualization, journaling, gratitude. Focus on more of that which you desire. Be the change you want to see in the world. Feel how you want to feel in order to generate more of that. So, all right, this video is almost going to 20 minutes. My intention was to have this short video. And this is kind of a rant, just some of the things happening in my mind on this beautiful rainy morning. <laughs> but anyway, what do you think? Is this generating any thoughts for you? What, what are you thinking about? So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and leave a comment if you have any insight to add and have a fantastic day. Have a great weekend. Create an amazing weekend. Turn off the news. <laughs> Create your own news. All right. We'll see you later, guys. Thanks.